So today we're leaving Mizuga and heading on an overnight bus to Fez. The journey should be about 10 hours-ish. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Yeah, but our bus is until 7 o'clock, so the owners of the hotel let us stay in another room for the rest of the day, which is really nice. Yeah, we were expecting to just leave our bags and reception or something, but they've given us a whole other room to Yeah, because otherwise we'd be stuck in the heat and not be able to do much, like couldn't really go in the pool or anything but they gave us this little room and it's still really nice. Yeah. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna put you in a little room, expecting it to be like, to bed or something. Yeah. But it's still nice. got like, got some little bed got towel things. <laughs> got like a towel thing, got aircon, got a bathroom for shower and toilet. And then little thing in, a little waiting area we've just chucked our bags for the rest of the day. Should be a nice last day. We've had an amazing time here. Like Mizuka is incredible. We've enjoyed exploring the dunes as well as just chilling by the pool and relaxing for the last few days. Ready for our last week or so. We're on our first overnight bus. A nice nine, ten hour journey to arrive in Fez sometime tomorrow morning. Yep. Should be a fun journey. Hopefully, get some sleep. made it to Fez. We arrived at about four o'clock last night. Last it's night, yes, this morning. This morning, yeah. Um, it was quite a nice journey, we slept for most of it. Yeah. But then we just checked into our hostel and basically went straight back to sleep for a few hours. And then Megan thought it was a good idea to wake up with a morning swim. Our bedroom door is basically right next to the swimming pool. So now that was just there locking up. I take one step back and I'm in the pool. It was something like from a movie, it was quite funny. Yeah. So then, Megan dried off, <laughs> had some breakfast, and now we're just gonna explore the Medina of Fez. Should be a really good day. Exploring like all the ancient sites, the main buildings and landmarks of Fez. So we've just come to Babu Jawood, which is roughly translates to the Blue Gate, which is like the main gate to the Medina of Fez and the architecture is like beautiful. Um, you can see like the amount of detail that's gone into it. Uh, it's just like incredible. So we've come to Al Atarin Madrasa, which is quite similar to Ben Yusuf Madrasa in Marrakesh, but a bit smaller. But it's still just a beautiful, like the amount of detail into each and every section of this building is amazing. Got like the towers looking up into the main courtyard. I think it was a school to study. They got like little bedrooms upstairs, but it's amazing. And it's nice to get out of the heat of Fez for a bit. done something that not many people have done before. We managed to visit the Fez Tannery for free. They're meant to be free, but everyone gets like roped into getting a guide and going up to the viewpoint and stuff. Our tip is to find people who are with a guide and just follow them 
um, pretend you're with them. The people that we were following picked up that we were following them, but their guys didn't. Yeah. So we got in without paying, we got out without paying. Basically just follow other people and hope we got some free mint as well because it stinks. The mint doesn't make too much difference, it stinks up there. You literally have to shove it right up your nose to make any difference, but I'm pretty sure that's the first. We're happy with that. We definitely thought we'd be paying money, but yeah. very glad we didn't. So Friday is the holy day here, so basically a lot of things are shut after about two o'clock. We're just like heading through the souk, seeing what's open, trying to find another madrasa, but might just chill at the hostel for a bit, try and cool off. And apparently there's a nice like garden thing we might check out. Hopefully get out of the shade and hopefully it'll be open, but we don't know. Just something to bear in mind if you're planning to come to Morocco. Be prepared to have Fridays with a bit of a chill day. So as most of the Medina is closed today, as it's a Friday, um, we've decided to spend the afternoon at some gardens and it's huge. Um, but really beautiful and shady and a lot cooler than in yeah. the Medina. It's like the main garden just outside of the Medina in Fez. We can't pronounce the name, we'll put it there somewhere. It's like really nice and pretty. Um, it's got like loads of bamboo trees and waterfalls and a weird thing, water wheel. Water wheel. But we're just gonna wander around here, try and stay cool for a bit. And then- for dinner later. Yeah, should be really nice. <laughs> we may have become a bit distracted. It is such a poser. <laughs> Like honestly, compared to the UK, it is next to none. Like after meals, they'll bring us free mint tea. As soon as you go anywhere, they're giving you free mint tea. Um, you're checking in the hotels, in shops. Like honestly, that hospitality is incredible. 